Now You're on Rescue TV with Jamie Dury, who's here with us today to talk about his passion for plants, yeah. organic skincare, and your wonderful new brand collaboration, People for Plants. This is uh, my little baby. This is, we've been working on this now for, I guess, four years. Yeah. And, uh, and I don't think there's a product in Australia, certainly not the Southern Hemisphere, that has a higher percentage of organic natural materials inside each skincare product. I mean, it's, and that's why it's taken us this long, quite frankly, because it's hard to get right. Tell us about the kind of the evolution to here, because everyone obviously knows about your passion for landscaping and gardening and yes. plants. And you more so than anyone, because you just got home from well, experiencing my no, garden. I was just on Hayman <laughs> Island and admiring your handiwork. Thank you. And I, I was literally, literally, um, the day before yesterday, looking for your um, Instagram and Twitter handle, because yes. I was going to tweet about how much I love the formal gardens and ah. the incredible butterflies and really, really enjoying the botanical rejuvenation. That's good, um, yeah, yeah, because we put a lot of effort into, into home and actually we, we put about 134 species of plants in there just specifically to get the butterflies back onto the island after the storm. And, the, the, and it's really something to behold. I have to tell you, it good. was it was joyful. It was oh, really, good. I felt childlike walking good. through those gardens. And that's so good. the next day, after having this kind of Jamie Dury epiphany of how much I love the gardens, <laughs> I get this text message saying, would you like to meet Jamie for People for Plants? And I went, heck, if someone knows plants, it's Jamie. <laughs> and I need to know, speak to the man who's, <laughs> you know, put together. And yeah. it's quite unusual for a man to put together a botanical skincare line. Well, I did have a bit of help from a lot of knowledgeable females. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, and, and to be honest, I've been in the beauty industry from the age of 15 because that's when I started modelling. Yeah. In fact, my acting uh, school was uh, at the age of 24 in this building. Oh, you're kidding. No, no. And so the last time I was actually in this building, I was at an acting class prior to even being on television for, uh, to be a presenter. Wow. Uh, so I'm going back quite a few years now. It's probably 12, 12 or 13 years ago. So you're feeling the good mojo. I am feeling the good <laughs> mojo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've come full circle. And yeah, now you're so I, like... can, I can still see Sandra Lee Patterson going, the eyes have it, the eyes have it, you know, as she used to tell me, but, which was really funny. But um, then I went on and studied horticulture. Uh, instead of uh, going down that path and I studied horticulture for four years and uh, and started the design business here in Sydney which we then built up to about 65 staff and and we've been working on hotels and resorts all over the world ever since and uh, and I've been in, in the US for the last three or four years uh, working on my US television career and uh, and many other design projects for you know the odd celebrity or two up in Hollywood and yeah. it's been really fun so it's been a great journey like learning about plants has been able to take me all the way around the world working on uh, you know extremely remote resorts and hotels but in... do you feel like it's suddenly really hot topic do you have you seen the re re surgence of interest in you know organics and taking care of yourself in a more respectful totally. way I, yeah. I think that you know it used to be something that people who were you know a little bit alternative were interested in but it seems to have really infiltrated the mainstream consciousness oh it definitely definitely has but I look in my little mind it's been going like this for 15 years but I think uh, for the most part People are growing their own vegetables now because they're concerned about, you know, the amount of pesticides or herbicides that are on the food that they're then putting into their children's mouths. Yeah. You know, and of course, you know, when it comes to skin care, you, the skin is the biggest organ in your body. That's right. And, and it absorbs everything that touches it. So including makeup and lipstick and everything else that goes on your skin. So if you're going to start with, with, with some basic skin nutrition, yeah. or we even call it skin food and skin health, um, you know, you've got to make sure that, that, that you're, you're, you're weeding out the petrochemicals, you're, you're taking out all the parabens, you're taking out all those damage, all, damage, damaging sulfates, yeah. you know, because they're all the common things that are in today's skincare. And, and I don't want it anywhere near this product. Yeah. And so we worked for four years to really make sure that we're not just choosing the very best shea butter. Um, or that we, we're choosing, you know, our, our, our rose um, uh, auto comes from Bulgaria, Bulgaria, you, because they grow the best roses in the world. And it smells incredible. That uh, face which we were all uh, using it before and saying, oh, it's almost like fragrant. It's so yeah. fresh and so fragrant. It's yeah. gorgeous. So, you know, through my history with plants, I guess, you know, it's, 
obviously an evoked a passion for me to be able to produce more things with these great great plants but so we find the very best ingredients from all over the world yep. and then we bring them back to Australia and then we manufacture them into what I think is the best skincare range in the world. And I tell you something we were talking about before is um, I think it's really um, high integrity that you are not just slapping on the organic kind of claim, but you're very, very specific for each individual product, yeah. the percentage of active organic ingredients yes. in it, right down to, you know, this one is 74.5%, another one is 97.7%. Yeah. Um, and I think that's that's really cool. It has a lot of integrity to be able to like call out exactly what it is and not just go for the brand kind of um, yeah. slapping it on. You you kind of have to. This one's ninety seven. You don't points. have to actually. In Australia, you don't have to be that honest. In my mind, I think you do have to be. Yeah. You know, and I think today consumers are very much interested in the integrity of the product mm, and how so. much thought and care we've put into this um, on behalf of the of the customers. You know, and so 97.7%, I don't think you'll find a product anywhere on the globe that has that high percentage of organic material. So this is a product that doesn't need to be refrigerated, but I assume that it has a shorter shelf life because it is quite pure. Not necessarily, no. Okay. That's what took us the amount of time to, to put all this together. To find natural preservatives. Yes, and... yes. So actually we use a Japanese radish um, oh. to, to help preserve some of our... So even the, the natural preservatives in this are natural and are organic. So, you know, it's, it's a really interesting journey actually going down the path of organics because you're right, it doesn't last as long as the synthetic brands. Yeah. But that's because you've got all these chemicals and th synthetic things keeping it alive and preservatives. Mm. So we've tried to find the very best organic natural preservatives yep. and uh, and as I said one of those is the radish which is has some really interesting preservative qualities in it and we were saying we love the packaging and you were telling us a sweet story about this um, ginkgo ginkgo yes. leaf yeah so that's one of my favorite plants on the planet the ginkgo leaf because it's it's got this lovely um, uh, in the horticultural industry, we call it a monocot. So it means that all the uh, the veins in the in the leaf are running. I was about to say veins, and I thought I won't say it in case I sound like a complete goose. Well, I'm I'm relating this to human terms, okay. <laughs> but what um, sound like a so a diacot has has little veins that go in all sorts of different directions, and then a monocot has veins that go in one, one direction. direction. So things like grass and uh, you know more upright things uh, has have so it has these lovely striations inside the leaf but more importantly the ginkgo leaf is uh, the ginkgo has been used for teas in japan and china for thousands of years because it has great digestive qualities it's yeah. got it's great antioxidant it's um it's it's so it's got so many healing qualities it really is the doctor of the plant industry if you like so it's a, it's a beautiful logo it's really thanks yeah so i think i think this is a great way of kind of epitifying the entire brand. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you, yeah. um, in your own grooming regime, yes. I, I mean, it's a very complete line, so I don't assume you use all of it. Uh, what's your yes, grooming do. routine? <laughs> I don't travel with all of it, though, too. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have to be throwing things in plastic bags through every x-ray around the globe. But um, I carry the eye cream with me yeah. because the eye cream has um, what we call the kakadu plum. And that is an Australian little berry that comes from kakadu. It's, um, it's picked by the local indigenous community. It's really high in vitamin C, right? Super high. Yeah. So high, in fact, um, that it's 50 times the amount of vitamin C of, of an average orange. So it's incredibly powerful. And when you throw that underneath your eye, it literally takes away those dark lines. And that's what every woman's looking for. I'm looking for it, even yeah, as a everybody, man. Everybody's looking for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and I've been in the beauty industry for a long time because I started modelling when I was... I don't know, 14, 15 years of age, I think I did my first swimwear catalogue. Wow. So, you know, I've, I've been around makeup artists and around knowledgeable girls my whole life who know and care a lot about beauty, beauty and skin care and skin health, you know, nutrition. Well, it's a beautiful line and we can't wait to road test all of it. Um, it it's really <laughs> comprehensive and I think that, you know, if, if you were looking to move towards something that's better for your skin and is yep. going to be better for your inside and out, yep. uh, it's, it's a fantastic line because I think a lot of those organic or plant-based lines don't have uh, the comprehensive option 
yeah. of, of skincare products yeah. for you. So congratulations. I mean, Thank you. it's Yeah, and exciting. I think the, the tough thing is, is to get the price points right too. So there's nothing over $30. It, yeah. it all sits between $9.95 and $30. And, and where um, are you retailing it? Oh, everywhere from David Jones all the way through the Priceline stores, Terry White Chemist, Sol Pattinson. Congratulations. Yeah, so it's been amazing. It's it been is, it is really, amazing. It's really well received. So all that hard work's finally starting to pay well, off. Well, it's all your it's expert, you know, it's your expertise and, you know, a lot of passion obviously has yeah. gone into this project. You don't do things in halves. No, I don't. So no. I think <laughs> if, if your history and your history of your career and, yeah. and, and the way that, you know, you articulate your passion is anything to go by I think this is going to be a really successful and beautiful product to, to try you. really congratulations thank you for thank you. chatting well, to us well I always say that I always say to people follow your passion and the pension will follow it's so a good quote yeah. I like that try it you'll love it my mum loves it <laughs>